for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. It's Wednesday, hump day, and we're ready to bring you all the action. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. The Utah Jazz made a big move last year with the trade for Mike Conley. Conley said the players they had in place, two-way guys who play unselfishly, is something I've built my game around. We have guys who are willing to do whatever it takes to win. Kevin, back to you. The Jazz, like Memphis, willing to grind. Thanks, DA. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Boyan Bogdanovich. And guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? These last five games, he's been a machine at the offensive end. A different score than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Morant now in at the guard spots. Anderson is out there with Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Brooks in at the small forward position. And for the Jams, Conley out there with Joe Ingles. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich. Then it's O'Neal. And it's Gobert in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Frank, it's going to be a battle of the boards tonight. You know what that's like. You played alongside some great rebounders. No doubt about it. Patrick Ewing, Charles Oakley. I mean, Brian Grant, a lot of guys that earn their living wearing that hard hat. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now, here's Ingles. And Kyle Anderson gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And that's a quick foul for him there. Looks like the refs are going to call this one pretty close. Conley to pass to O'Neal. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Rebounded by Valanciunas. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. Brooks leading the charge. Anderson can't get it to go. Here's Conley. A shot's good on the assist by Engel. Well, Mike Conley, slight of frame, but the intention is there and finishes with contact. Morant passes to Valanciunas. Brooks outside. And it's Morant at the elbow. Shot clock at five. And staying with the play, Valanciunas. Well, I think this is something Jonas Valanciunas has hung his hat on. His ability to consistently get to the offensive window. Nicely done. Now here's Conley. 
They count on his contributions, currently providing 16 and a half points a game. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Here's Morant. Anderson trying to free himself up. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And what an incredible shot in the arm for this franchise. The opportunity to draft a potential superstar in Ja Morant. And they had only a 6% chance of landing that number two overall pick. That's good from Morant. They've had a lot of good players come through Memphis over the years, GA, but probably no one with Moran's upside. He has future league MVP potential. Once the three-point shot is consistent, once he cuts back on the turnovers, I just don't know how you stop it. Both free throws, good from Morant. And the work ethic that Morant has sets him up nicely. Make no mistake, this guy wants to be an all-time great. Now here is Conley. Passes it to Bogdanovich. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Here's Allen, and Allen slams it in. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finished hard with two hands on that stuff. Conley, the pass to Gobert. Now Bogdanovich. Grizzlies with the rebound. Alan Junis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Bogdanovich against Anderson. Now here's Morant. Playing Dallas, he was nearly unstoppable. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Now here's Ingles. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. From deep three-point range, the Jazz keeping it alive. A new 14. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Sometimes you just wonder, how did Morant see that guy? The, the vision is special. Here's Conley. To halt the run. No good on that one. And the Grizzlies leading by seven. Allen left side. Pass to Valanchunas. Over O'Neal. No good from Valanchunas. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Here's Ingles. No good on that one. And it's Memphis the other way. Last time they met was in Memphis. Well, they were on the wrong side of a very close matchup last time they met. But what a great game. Now, here's Valanciunas. Ingles with the rebound. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Conley's shot is off. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Bucket is good. Oh, great ball movement there. And it's Conley with the ball for the Utah Jazz. Nine-point game. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jazz. Now the regular season coming to a close, Greg. Some call these the dog days of the year. Winning teams ready for the playoffs. And lottery teams sometimes ready to, uh, to hang it up and call it quits. It's kind of an interesting dynamic. No doubt, Kevin. A lot of teams still have something to play for, whether it's fighting to make the playoffs or seeding. These games matter. And then with the younger teams, young players are trying to secure their future moving forward. And teams, that are doing a great job of evaluating and determining whether or not they want some of those guys on the roster the following year. Very interesting. Look out west going into the playoffs. Look at Utah. They've continued to play strong basketball, if not utterly dominant, as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. 
And, of course, there's the Grizzlies. They're back in the ninth position. And, guys, when you look at Memphis, they're one of those teams that hasn't quite figured it out this year. A lot of talent, a lot of heart, but nothing to put them up on that next level. You know, it's got to be frustrating for them. You can't dwell on the past. You've got to think forward, work together, and play for one another. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Ingles gets to Conley. Shoots over Morant. Count it from 12. Conley's got his second basket of the night. Well, smart shot selection from Mike Conley, right? Just get into your mid-range bag and complete the play. He does so there. Brooks from outside. A rebound by the Jams. Bogdanovich finds Conley. Here's O'Neal. Here's Gobert. He's covered by Anderson. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Boy, wreaking havoc with his size down there. The stifled tower, Rudy Gobert, assertive. My goodness. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the sixth. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Well, at seven foot one, Rudy Gobert has become known as the Stifle Tower. And this guy starting to excel and get a bigger role on the offensive end. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Royce O'Neal. And Gobert drops them both. And the Grizzlies leading by seven. Morant right side and the layup's good off the glass. Morant's got his third bucket of the night. Shots are just flowing him right now having a really strong court. Conley dishes to Clarkson. Lays it up off the glass. How about Jordan Clarkson the ability at his position to absorb contact and finish the play. Brooks outside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Michael Conley picks one up. Well, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Taking two shots. For Brooks. A different look for Utah. Derek Favors checked in for Rudy Gobert. Ilyasova comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's George Niang in for Joe Ingles. The Grizzlies also changing it up. Brandon Clark comes in for Jonas Valanciunas. And Winslow subbed in for Morant. He's off on the second. Jazz trail by eight. Right side, Conley. Slow. Conley's shot is off. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Clark, good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Now Clarkson coming in off a 41-point performance last game out. Four on the clock. Here's Favors. A shot that time, not on target. And the Grizzlies leading by 10. Bain, he's covered by Clarkson. Bain, rebounded by Clarkson. Utah's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. And that one is good. Clarkson's got his second bucket. Well, Jordan Clarkson, a nice, efficient look there. Boy, that'll help your percentages. Brooks, the best of Jackson. And the call will be against George Niang. That is his first foul of the game. Brooks kicks to Clark. Jams it right over Derek Favors. Wow! 
Yeah. We're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Memphis shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. That one misses for Clark. Teams have dynasties, the 90s, Michael Jordan. We've seen it over the many decades. Over the next decade, though, who do you think is going to lead the pack there? Ooh, that's a great question. You know, with the way Father Time is treating Le LeBron, you, you might have to wait and see because he is still playing at such a high level. But, you know, obviously Giannis has got to be on the short list with the Bucks. For me, I, I really look at Luka in, in Dallas. I, I just feel like with... Christoph uh, Porzingis, that that duo could just be deadly with how the game is played. But don't sleep on the Celtics with Tatum and Brown and that group that they have with the front office they have. Man, I think the league overall is going to be in great shape moving forward. It sure seems that way. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. Jazz trail by 10. Kind of laid the pass to Favors. Here's Niang. Pass to Clarkson from the arc. It's Clark with the rebound. And Clark has got the ball here for the Grizzlies. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. Yeah, and that one, unbelievable shooting display, especially from long range. That turned out to be the difference. Well, and I think what that was a product of was their movement off the basketball. Just tremendous work on the perimeter. Utah is shooting in the early going here. Pretty dreadful, 22%. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. The Jazz with another miss. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Michael Conley. And Ilya Sova throws it down. Well, if you want to pinpoint one thing about Mike Conley, it's his feel for the game. That's a pretty pass. And the basket by Jackson. And the Grizzlies lead by 10. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. And the Jazz call time here. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. That final score really caught a lot of people off guard. I think we would have to quantify that one as an upset. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt. They came in as a favorite, seemed to lose their confidence down the stretch, started to play tight, and let that one slip away. Ja Morant. This last month, he's been positively spectacular. He's getting around 20 points per, seven assists, and five rebounds. And what is crazy is that these numbers might not even do his game justice. He's, he's been phenomenal. Feels like every night this guy does something that just blows your mind. So fun to watch. Someone the other players look up to. And now a quick review at the numbers for Carlos. 17th in steals. And he's in the top 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating easy buckets for his teammates, such an asset. And yeah, he's one of the better steal guys in the league, constantly getting his hands in there. And as a ball handler, you have to... Oh, wow! And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. And Derek Favors with the slam. I'll tell you, solid concentration from the big man. Derek Favors fights through the contact thanks to all of that strength in his upper body. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And he's kept this percentage at a decent level, right around 74. Find the length. Find the length. One shot. And that one falls for Favors. 
and most people would say Derek favors a throwback big man, right? The guy wants to be effective at posting up, but he can shoot the face-up jump shot as well. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Well, you set the tempo early, and when you get command and control of a game, it's perfect. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his second. The Jazz shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Ilya Sova. Both free throws good for Ilias Ova. Well, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Here's Morant. He's got 12. Down low. Jeff. Oh, that Woo! was something else. <laughs> Have mercy. And this is something Morant does well. His knack for knowing when to make that feed is impressive. And so is the Memphis Grizzlies holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. Back to the action after this word. of action plenty of basketball left to play but this one has been one-sided so far and guys the Grizzlies enjoying a nice lead here guys I love their defense in that first period they were in position and just challenging shots well I think they combined great intelligence with great effort and you can see the results Jazz trail by 11 and now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Taking a look at the Jazz, Ilya Sova out there with favors. Then there's Jordan Clarkson, and it's Conley, and it's Niang in at the three. And the pass to Jackson. Over favors. The shot, no good. The Jazz go the other way with it. To the middle. Conley gets the bucket. Conley's got six. Well, if you give Mike Conley any kind of position on the interior, he is just crafty enough to finish it. Morant outside. Shot clock at six. And here's Clarkson. And here's the fast break. Clarkson leading the way. Passes to Conley. Morant with some nice D. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Pass to Jackson. Here's Tillman. Second shot opportunity. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. This guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort, love the energy. Reagan, New York, you obviously played in a number of championship contending teams. What do the Knicks have to do to get back to that feel, that kind of team? Well, listen, it starts with stability across the board, but mainly that means at the top. And you got to give this new front office, this new regime, an opportunity. I think they got some good young pieces. Uh, but title contenders are not in a constant state of flux right now. They've got to take their baby steps here and start moving in the right direction. Like you say, it does begin in the front office. Gobert dishes to Clarkson. Kicks to Ingles. The Grizzlies pull it in. 
And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. Morant with the ball. And again, Memphis no good. It's Gobert with the ball for the Jazz. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Morant outside. Allen up top. Pass to Valanciunas. And the layup falls. Valanciunas has got six. And I like the physicality on that play by Jonas Valanciunas. Simply powers through the contact, showing he can give it as well as take it. Ingles finds Clarkson. A shot's good on the assist by Ingles. Eight points for him. This guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Allen, that's good. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And there's the pass to Bogdanovich. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. Well, you have to like the balance of Boyan Bogdanovich. Keeping it through the contact. That is nicely done. Jazz trail by 10. Pass to O'Neal. Clarkson on the wing. Off target from outside. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Grizzlies shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Two shots. One falls for him. the fifth overall pick back in 2011. Valanciunas has worked so hard to improve his entire game. I'll tell you, it's paid off, Kevin. He can impact a game in a lot of different ways. So he gets them both. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Ingles kicks to Clarkson. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. Well, easy money, right? I like the strategy. Go inside, get a high percentage look. And they double up Morant. And a wide open look for Valanciunas. Off the mark there with the three point shot. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one's on Morant. Jordan Clarkson tends to draw a lot of contact. If you look at his career, he doesn't end up at the free throw line as often as you'd think. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. The one thing with Clarkson, sometimes he can get a little out of control. And he does a tremendous job creating offense and putting himself in a position to attack. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Memphis. And both free throws good for Clarkson. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Here's Morant, and it's blocked. Wow, Joe Ingles sends it back twice on the pipes. Big-time defensive play. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And that's what a team needs when they're trailing. Energy on D. And the Grizzlies leading by eight. And one thing you love about Ingles, he hits a lot of contested jumpers. He does, and he'll get to his game by using jab steps, pump fakes, really good ball handler. He's unafraid in the clutch. He'll talk a little smack every now and again. Joe Ingles has carved out quite a career. Bogdanovich with it. Guarded now by Clark. And now it's Allen. Run it. He can go all the way. And, guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. Bogdanovich passes to O'Neal. Another shot. 
He lays it in. O'Neal's got his first points of the night. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. It's Morant's with the drive. That one falls. Morant's got the lead up to 12 now for Memphis. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, Kevin. Well, Mike Conley is a three-time Sportsmanship Award winner. He's also won the Teammate Award. And he's never been assessed a technical foul at any level of basketball. Now, some ask if going easy on the refs cost him calls down the road. But Coach Quinn Snyder said, it's hard to imagine that handling yourself with poise and respect can ever be a negative. Guys? Well said, thanks, David. The Jazz have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. Shooting two. throw good Bogdanovich there's a lot to like about Bogdanovich's game he's a skilled scorer he's a capable defender and I think there's some leadership qualities there and Memphis making a change here Brooks checked in and so Bogdanovich nails both of them and getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect in the line so far here in the second quarter. Here's Brooks, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Utah called for the foul. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Brooks. And just over 80% from the line right now. A big improvement over what they shot in that first quarter. To Clarkson. Pass to Ingles. Finally gets one to fall. He's now one for five with his first make. See, Joe Ingles doesn't blow you away with physical strength. It's his craftiness that makes him effective, especially scoring through contact. It's deflected. to Clarkson from deep. It's Clark with the rebound. And the Grizzlies leading by 10. Wants to get to Morant and does. And when Morant is cooking like this, it's fun to watch. He, he burns you in so many ways. Utah calls timeout. And, and no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. We talking fair pay. I know all things ain't equal, so I pay it for it. The I and me of growing up hard is you gotta pay for it. Why you think they for it? Why you think we got about the hood for it? Why you think my got me box for it? For it. I had to fight for it. Some of my cousins for it. A lot of Free the guys for it. My king still a million dollar mission for it. All my going for it, yell the same thing. How you mean? Got your new guy. Julius Silva, he's checked in for Utah. Conley now comes in for Jordan Clarkson. Gobert finds Bogdanovich. Right wing. Releases. That one's good, and the Grizzly lead is cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Mike Conley. 
I'll tell you, Joe Ingles is proving that as a passer, he is a special player. Morant against Connor. And they double up Morant. Lock at six. Brooks from outside. Up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot the D can afford to give him. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. And it's blocked. For the finish. And finished off by Morant. See, this is where Morant is so dangerous. The open court. I mean, he knows how to exploit a defense. Conley kicks to Ilias Hope. Morant against Conley. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Conley's got 10. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Here's Tillman. Here's Clark. Gobert with the block. Let's remember that the seven-foot frame includes a seven-foot-nine wingspan. Rudy Gobert, the stifle tower, doing work. Here's Conley. Buries it down low. Conley's got eight points in the quarter. I'll tell you, he's having his way right now in the second period. Forget the first quarter. Let's get to work. Morant passes to Tillman. On the wing, Brooks. Ingles covering. Here's Tillman. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Grizzlies have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board, 77% collectively. And he knocks down the first one. George Niang, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. Both shots good from the strike. And no secret here. This is what you need to do with the lead. Hit your free throws. And they're having a great second quarter at the line. Ingles kicks to Conley. And he banks in the lane. Conley's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Mike Conley starting to percolate a little bit here. Look out, defenders. Brooks with it. He's coming off a 22-point game against Dallas. And he was aggressive in how he played on the defensive side of the floor, notching three steals on the game. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for Utah. They trail by 11. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Conley will go to the line here. It goes on Justice Winslow. The Jazz have an exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. And how about as a group, 80% on the season one of their best attributes and the Jazz making a change here Favors is checked in and Memphis also making a switch Jackson he's checked in What's for up? Brandon Clark and that one falls for Mike Conley Mike Conley, probably one of the most respected players in the league, and I don't see this guy stopping anytime soon. He brings great effort every single night, plays with a team-minded selflessness, is a big shot maker. This guy has had such a solid, probably underrated career. And yes, it's good. Conley's got 19 points. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Now here's Brooks. He has six. Five on the clock. Over Ilias Hope. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. John Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for Memphis. His production has been flowing as he's tallied 20 points and looks to be planning for more. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Quinn Snyder. Quinn, what concerns you most about the first half? 
Well, I think the tempo is in their favor right now. They're uh, they're fast and they're getting up and down the floor, so they're running out in transition. Got to beat them to the punch. Thanks very much, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now the 2K Sports halftime show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. It was all John ja Morant in the first quarter. He had 20 points, four rebounds, and three assists. Kenny, what'd you think about the Grizzlies? Well, it's a heads up, unselfish game they're playing. Their passing has been very sharp. And nobody is standing still. Guys are moving and finding open shots. Shaq, what's your take on Utah so far? Well, it's been a big night for the guys on the pitch so far. The scoring has given them a real spark. I think we can expect a few more minutes for the reserves than usual tonight. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Guys, John Morant has been sensational. <laughs> that first half looked like a dunk contest mixtape. Was just destroying the rim. Yeah, this guy he plays fast, he's aggressive, and if you let him get to the cup, there is nothing that you can do about it. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Kicking off the second half, here's Taylor Jenkins' spot. Morant now in at the guard spot. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Anderson. And it's Brooks in at the three spot. with the defensive effort. Jazz trail by six. Here's Ingles, and that one drops. Ingles has got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Jazz. They are just killing them on the interior. Brooks the pass to Anderson. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And the Grizzlies lead by six. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. And the Grizzlies leading by six. Morant kicks to Valanciunas. He dishes it to Brooks. Over O'Neal. Here's Valanciunas. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. Well, the big man has quite the presence inside. Jonas Valanciunas gets physical and draws the contact. He's got to stay aggressive. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. And Junis hits them both. And it's Conley with the ball for the jam. Eight point game. Bogdanovich against Brooks. Now Bogdanovich. Some good scoring numbers for him right now, averaging 17 points a game. Nice shot by Gobert. Well, Gobert inside, right? He has such a strong sense for when to take advantage of the skills he has at his disposal. Morant, the bounce pass. Valanciunas dishes to Morant. Floats one up. And there's Valanciunas on the assist by Morant. 
Morant's got four assists in the game. Conley scanning the floor. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Yunus Valanciunas. You can see the defenders try to play with a level of physicality against Mike Conley. But this guy's such a tough competitor. He'll get to the line. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. The first one falls. And so Mike Conley nails both of them. And the Grizzlies leading by six. Inside, here's Brooks, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Find the lane. Find the lane. What's up? Jazz trail by nine. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. The pass to come. The shot's good on the assist by Ingles. Ingles has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. To the paint. Here's Allen. Gobert with the block. And so the ball out of bounds. Gobert touches it last. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Utah. Jordan Clarkson. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. And that one's good, Morant. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Memphis. Moran's got rebound number five here tonight. The offensive rebound. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And now a 10-point Grizzly lead. Jazz have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Markson with the ball. And Allen picks him up defensively. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability. He's winning with anticipation. The Jazz again can't hit it. And the Grizzlies leading by 10. To the inside. Here's Valanciunas. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. When Valanciunas forces the issue like that, he is really tough to handle. He does a good job drawing contact. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. 76% at the strike for him thus far this season. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. The Jazz making a switch here. Favors is checked in. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Jazz trail by 11. Here's Clarkson. Another miss by Utah. Well, they are daring him to miss, and he obliges. And it's Allen slamming it down. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? And here are the Grizzlies with it. They're on a 16-7 run. And Jackson throws it down hard. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. 
boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Here's Anderson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, the defender all over. It's his first trip to the line. Kyle Two shots. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And both free throws good for Anderson. Here's O'Neal. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Utah calls timeout. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. His last 10 games have been exceptional. 10th in scoring, and he's among the top 20 free throw shooters in the league. Doesn't waste many opportunities at the line. And you noted it. His points per game average is unreal right now. He's literally propping up the team's offense, scoring whenever they need him to. against Allen. Here's Conley. Just five on the clock. Clarkson, good on the three-point shot. Clarkson's got 15 points. It, it took a long time for him to get that first triple, but let's see now, though, if he can get going. Morant passes to Valanciunas. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got his seventh assist in the game. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Utah Jazz. A trail by 16. Outside favors. Allen against Clarkson. Here's Conley. A nice jump shot from the top of the key. Conley's got 26. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contained. And they double up Morant. Anderson kicks to Morant. Jackson has the open look, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Hey, this guy is competitive. He's tough, and he'll play through contact. Mike Conley doing work inside. Here's Jackson. Plays it up and banks it in. Jackson's got six in the quarter. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistent. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Julius Silva, he's checked in for Utah. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, great. He can get up a few notches higher. They double team Conley passes to Ilya Sober. The rebound by Anderson. 
Anderson's got his sixth rebound on the night. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. A double team Conley. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Here is a list of the NBA's most adept passing teams this season. These are your assist leaders. And third, the Grizzlies. And, and you know, when your team has a lot of assists, it's testimony to the unselfishness, the, the patience, the ball movement, the player movement. They have shown all of that. That free throw good from Ilyasova. George Niang, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And so he makes both from the line. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. There's Winslow. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Bain. And a foul call. Almost got it to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Shooting from Eminence. Desmond Bain. At the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Utah. Second free throw, no good. Jazz trail by 19. Pass to Conley. There's the triple. Here's Favors, and he finishes nicer on the way. Favors has got five points so far. Well, you like how Favor stays after it in that instance. When he's close to the bucket, boy, he's great at hustling for these second-chance points. Yeah, and, and ever since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. i got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. And that one's good by Favor. And you love that Favors bounces off defenders effortlessly. Fantastic at finishing despite the defense being right in his grill. Jackson, that's good. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Conley kicks to Ilias Ober. Ingles with the ball. Guarded now by Clark. They double-team Conley. It's not going to go for him. And Memphis the other way now. They host the Kings after this game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Back to Winslow. Anderson outside. Softly drops in the floater. Anderson's got eight points in the quarter. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Niang passes to Fabers. 127 left to play here on the third, but they get it back. It's good. Ten points in the game so far. Memphis leading by 19. So timeout call here. The first for Memphis.
Jam. Gobert is checked in for favors. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for George Niang. And Memphis also making a switch. Brooks checked in. Jackson down low, Ingles covering, and Jackson gets it to go. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Conley against Clark. Here's Ilyasova, fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Well, Mike Conley specializes in reading the floor. This guy is an expert in pick and roll. That free throw good from Ilya Soba. And the Grizzlies leading by 18. Down low, Clark. And slam dunk by Clark. Assistant. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. Has to go bare. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Knocks it loose. And there's the pass to come. Down to five on the shot clock. Three-pointer. Utah the rebound. Wow, just getting all the luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. That shot is off. And so it's Memphis closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And we'll be back with you shortly. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. We've got Joe Ingles, Agdanovich out there with Ilya Sova, and it's Rudy Gobert, and it's Conley in at the point. That's the group right now for Utah. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It goes on Brandon Clark. Well, this is where Joe Ingles is so crafty. We know he can shoot the basketball, but his ability to put it on the deck and make plays big time. Two shots. Relax on the first. The first free throw is good. How about this guy? He comes into the league as an undrafted free agent, and Joe Ingles has more than proven his worth. The high IQ, the lights out shooting from deep, so much to love about Ingles. And so he hits both. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for Memphis. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Passes it to Clark. Memphis moving that ball around. And here's Morant. And they double up Morant. Clark with a wide open look. No good on the triple. Jazz trail by 18. Here's Ingles tipped away. Morant with the steal. To the wing right side. And here's Bogdanovich. Outside Conley. The dish to Ingles. Here's Gobert. Two points. That one goes. You know that old expression, you can't teach size. But Gobert showing great effort as well. I love that he creates second chance opportunities. And it goes down two points. Moran's got 24. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, 
No wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Brooks feeling it out a bit. The feed to Clark. And it's good assisting on the play was Brooks. Ten points for Brandon Clark. Y you got to know this is Clark's skill set at this stage of his career. He takes quality shots when he's inside. Shoots from 14. Conley's shot is off. And the Grizzlies leading by 20. To the middle. Here's Tillman. Defended by Gobert. Outside Bogdanovich. Let's a floater go. It's rebounded by Memphis. Clark's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Back to Ingles. The tray. Tillman grabs the miss. The Grizzlies have gone 3 of 7 from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. On the wing, Ingles. They could use a bucket. That one good for two. Ingles has got four points this quarter. You have to be able to navigate and roll in the NBA, and Joe Ingles is becoming a master of it. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. Ladies and gentlemen, your jazz dancers. O'Neal comes in for Ilyasova. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for Joe Ingles. Brooks with it. Now guarded by Bogdanovich. And it's good for two. Hard to imagine them losing this game if they can keep shooting like that. O'Neal passes to Clarkson. Makes it off the glass. Coming off a big game. His confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Good on the shot. Nice pass there to set that basket up. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Utah Jazz. To the paint. Stolen by Brooks. And now it's Allen. Running. He can go all the way. And guys, you'd have to say this run really triggered by their transition offense. So Utah ends up going with a new group. Anderson, he's checked in for Memphis. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw, good, Allen. So, it's Utah now. Niang passes to Oni. Banked in off the glass. Oni's got his first bucket in this one. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Poked away. And they double up Morant inside. It's Allen on the wing. Just five to shoot. Shoots. They get it back. Valanciunas. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. 
And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Niang passes to Oni. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for Utah. B.A. Oni. Two shots. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Conchar's checked in, and it's DeAnthony Melton in for Grayson Allen. And he makes both free throws. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball to the inside. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. Look, to steal a line from you up high and down hard, Jonas Valanciunas. Go ahead, big fella. Thomas with the ball. Here's Oni. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got his 16th rebound on the night. Here's Melton. And it's Oni with the rebound. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. Pass to Morgan. It's good. Morgan's got his first two points of the night. Oh, what a pretty pass. Throw to the open spot. Lead your teammate perfectly. Thomas against Jones. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. So it's the Jazz now. Here's Niang. Near the three-point line, it's Thomas. And no good to start the night, missing his first attempt there. Anderson dishes to Jones. Alan Chun is inside. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Pass to Morgan. And there's the call on Joe. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Grizzlies substitution. Xavier two. Thomas against Jones. Thomas passes to Oni. Another miss by Utah. The Grizzly shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. Here's Conchar. Hughes covering. Valanciunas is inside. Clock at four. Again, the miss by Jones. Utah has gone 0 of 3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Down low, the end takes it up with both hands and rips it down. You gotta love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. And the pass to Tillman. Allen Jun is with the ball. Here's Melton. It's blocked. Kicks it to Thomas. Passes it to Niang. Here's Morgan. Utah needs to get off a shot here. Thomas, no good. The Grizzlies shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. Jones in the post. It's tipped. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the court. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Outside, Jones. Pass to Valanciunas. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first personal foul. At the line for the Grizzlies, Jonas Valanciunas. 
Taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for Utah. Dishes it to Gobert. O'Neal kicks to Conley. Gobert down low. Allen Junis is there. Bogdanovich, no what? Memphis has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. To the middle, here's Anderson. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Anderson's got 10 points in just the second half. Now that's where you like your shots to come from. 136 left in the fourth. Six to shoot. And here's Conley outside. It's rebounded by Memphis. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Memphis. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching any lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And so checking out the record for these guys tonight will mark win number 37 for them on the year. And really, after losing all three games to this point in the matchup, guys, they have to be happy to get a win here. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for John Morant. What a selfless effort tonight. He's done such a great job finding guys in their appropriate spots. And he makes the first. And Memphis making a change here. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. 103 left here in the fourth quarter. Melton feeling it out a bit. Gonchar, the pass to Melton. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. His first personal foul at the line for the Grizzlies. At the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one drops. The Jazz making a switch here. Favors is checked in. Both good from the line that time. And it's Utah's ball. Outside Thomas. A floater, and he sinks the layup. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Melton passes to Tillman. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. They get Derek Favors. At the line of the Grizzlies, Xavier Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls.
And so he's able to get one of two. Here's Oni. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Hey, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Jonas, you have a lot on you in terms of patrolling the paint. How do you think you're doing? I feel good. You know, uh, there is a better game. There is a worse game. But, uh, you know, I'm bringing energy every game. I'm fighting. And uh, my job is take rebounds, set of screens. I'm doing that job. It's front work, but you're good at it. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.